Prime Minister Modi has announced the names of four Gaganyaan mission astronauts at Israel Review today. Maldives has announced that the first batch of Indian civilian workers have arrived in Maldives to replace Indian military personnel operating Dhruv helicopters and Dornier aircraft. The Indian Navy has conducted airborne insertion of special forces by para-dropping inflatable crafts from Air Force's C-130 aircraft in the Arabian Sea for continued anti-piracy operations in the region. India and US have launched the first cyber security initiative to unite top cyber security experts to address cyber challenges. The deal for 100 more K-9 Vajra howitzers for the Indian Army will be cleared by July 2024. Indian Army's Eastern Command conducted integrated firing of theater artillery across full spectrum of operations and validation of swarm drones in an electromagnetic and air defense contested environment. JSR Dynamics has said that it recently conducted flight test of the Kagantak 306 glide weapon for a range of 175 km, and it achieved a speed of 0.85 Mach. India has started delivery of Akash air defense system to Armenia, under a 6,000 crore rupees deal signed last year. The chairman of Larsen and Tubro has said, that the Jorah war light tank is currently maturing through multiple trials, building their reliability through a lot of running, and the army will start summer trials in June. Hyderabad-based Ragu Vamsi Machine Tools has announced the launch of its fully indigenous micro-turbojet engine named Indra RV25240N. Swedish firm Saab Group has offered its Kripani to Philippines, that will compete with India's Tejas Mark 1A for an order for 40 aircraft. The Tejas Mark 1A offers BVR capability and air-to-air -air refueling, and it comes at only $43 million per unit, compared to the Gripen's $85 million per unit, and this significant price difference makes the Tejas an attractive proposition for the Philippines, considering its budgetary constraints. Philippines is looking at life cycle costs, technology transfer opportunities, and potential for future upgrades, and these factors will play a significant role in the final selection. According to a German media report, Germany is in talks with India to purchase ammunition, and then transfer it to the Ukrainian armed forces through intermediaries, but India is unwilling to sell its ammunition to Ukraine due to its friendly relations with Russia. It is unclear whether Germany will be able to secure ammunition from India, as India is reluctant to sell weapons to any country that is involved in an armed conflict. The Indian Army is keen to fast-track the production of the nearby land-based subsonic cruise missiles equipped with indigenous Manic engine within the next two years, for strategic autonomy and long-term sustainability. Gas turbine research establishment is now looking to transfer the technology of the Manic engine to private sector companies to double the manufacturing capacity. The Ministry of Defense also plans to activate a second production line for the nearby missile system to expedite and expand manufacturing capabilities. The Adani Group has announced opening of ammunition and missiles complex in Kanpur to manufacture full spectrum of ammunition and missiles. The facility will start rolling out small caliber ammunition, starting with 150 million rounds, which is 25% of India's annual requirement, that will be followed by high-quality small medium and large caliber ammunition, as well as short-range air defense missiles. Today's Top 3 Comments